let's see a right transfer with no wage state. So before going into this, in first phase is called ideal phase. Second one is called setup phase and third is called access phase. So these are the three phases associated with APB during a transfer. So let's talk about these phases in detail in the upcoming slides. So now let's see a right transfer with no wage state that is writing operation is taking place from bridge to APB interface or our requested to completer. Here in clock cycle T0 to T1, it is an ideal phase since there is no address given here and P write is also unknown and P select is low, so no slave is selected. That's why it is an ideal phase. If P select is equal to 0, then it is an ideal phase and P enable is also unknown. PW data is also not given and P ready is also unknown. When P select is high, here we can see P select is getting high at T12, T2 interface, uh, T1 to T2 clock cycle, that is, it is a setup phase. So, in the setup phase, in the example T0 to T1 clock cycle, it is an idle phase since P select is equal to 0. So, no slave is selected. So, that's why it is an ideal phase. And in clock cycle T1 to T2, it is a setup phase. In this setup phase, P select signal is asserted to 1. So, when P select is asserted to 1, then the following signals P address, P write, and PW data. must be valid. So when in the setup phase, the setup phase comes, the setup phase starts when P select is equal to 1. When P select is equal to 1 or in the setup phase, the three signals that is P address, P write and PW data must be e valid. In the case of this is I am talking in the case of right transfer. So in right transfer in the setup phase when in the setup phase that is when P select is equal to 1 then P address P write and PW data must be valid. That is either it should be 0 or either it should be in case of P address it should be either 0 or 1 or P write it is 0 or 1 or PW data, a valid data must be present. It should not be in unknown or high impedance state in case of P select. So if it is in unknown or high impedance state, then the output of our slave inter the output of our APB interface will give an error using P slave error. So in case of setup phase, or P select is equal to 1, the following three signals that is P address, P write and PW data must be valid. Otherwise, it will be an error. So, T1 to T2 is our setup phase. Next, in clock cycle, T2 to T3, this this time period is called 
axis phase. So during axis phase, P enable is asserted to high. P enable is asserted to 1. So during axis phase, so here T1 to T2 is our setup phase and T2 to T3 is our axis phase. So during T1 to T2 in case of setup phase the signals P address that is in case of right transfer we are talking this in case of right transfer P address P right and PW data the signals should be valid that is if the signals get a particular value then the transition from t2 to t3 that is when we are changing from setup phase to access phase in between the transition the signals must not change their values so during transition between setup phase to the access phase In the case of setup phase, we are getting the values of these particular signals and these values must be constant when we are getting, when the phase is getting changed from setup phase to the axis phase. When or not, if it is not happening, it will be an error. So during the transition between setup phase and axis phase, these particular signals which are set, which have got some valid value some valid data, that data must be constant during the phase transition. So during the axis phase, enable signal is asserted to high and the following signals must not change in the transition between setup and axis and between the cycles in the axis state. So between in between the cycles of axis phase also, these particular cycles must not change their value. So exit from axis state is controlled by P ready. So these are the three phases in associated with our transfer. We are talking this these three phases with respect. Now we are talking these three phases with respect to right transfer. In case of read transfer, we will get another signals like P read and PR data. So now let's see this example here in this. T0 to T1 is our ideal phase since P select is equal to 0. So it is an ideal phase. So no transfer is happening and this P address, P write and P enable PW data, P are ready or in an unknown state. And when P select is asserting high, that is it is changing from 0 to 1, it is a setup phase. So we have seen that in setup phase, P address, P write and PW data must be valid. So here we can see we are getting some valid address and P write is also one, which is a valid data, which is a valid and PW data here we are getting some data, which is also valid. And here we can see P ready is still unknown. So the APB interface is not ready for any type of transfer and P enable equal to zero. So no transfer will happen. In clock cycle T2 to T3, the P enable is asserting high. That is, it is an access phase. So during access phase, The, the APB interface is ready for transfer. So when P enable is equal to high and P ready e is equal to one, ready is equal to one, then the right trans, then the data will get transferred from bridge to our APB interface. So there is no wait state inserted in between the ideal phase, setup phase and access phase 
in this example.